What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 14 Team of the Week predictions. Welcome back guys and today we're predicting the Team of the Week number 36 which should be released on the 21st of May and I believe it's going to be the same time as the Team of the Season Liga BVA so we're going to have a good week of packs. You've obviously got some fantastic players in the Team of the Season Liga BVA which I believe hasn't been confirmed yet but I have got some predictions on my channel, be sure to go and check them out. But let's get straight into this week's Team of the Week number 36. Obviously some of the main Major European leagues have now all finished. The Bundesliga, the French League, I think, is finished now. Um, Set it out as well as the Barclays Premier League. Liga BVA is finished as well. And um, also the Liga BVA team this season around the corner is going to hinder some of the players I may have originally chosen to put in this team. But let's get straight into the players. So I'm going to start off with the goalkeeper. I have this player here, Marcelo Glohe. Plays a Glenio in the Brazilian League. And that's one of the only leagues we've got left, Brit, basically. Uh, picked up around five saves, a clean sheet, and man of the match in his team's 1-0 victory. Um, not too sure over the team, uh, but still very, very good at solid performance. I think it was Fluminense. I'm not too sure. They are a fairly solid team. I think they've won the Brazilian League a couple seasons ago, but um, still a fairly, a fairly decent performance. Also, you've got Perrin, the Genoa keeper. Um, he's had another good performance as well, so he could be a potential. Moving on to the defence, first we have this player here, Olkowski, I think it is, placed in the Polish League. And this kind of a player wasn't too sure. There's not many players um, you could have fitted in this goalkeeping and defence position, uh, but... Um, he picked up two goals in his team's 3-2 victory, so it could be a potential. Two goals from a defender um, is a pretty decent performance. Moving on to this player, we've got this player here, Bakali Kone, plays for Lyon in the French League 1. And uh, this guy picked up a goal, a clean sheet, and man of the match in his team's 1-0 victory over Nice. I also believe that 1-0 victory um, has actually led them to go and get Euro European football next season. So it's a very, very necessary goal for Lyon, and uh, he could be a potential player on that team of the week. Moving on, we've got a Another French player, this player here, Lorik Pellin, plays for St Etienne in the French League. And another French League and centre back here, and uh, he picked up two goals and man of the match in his team's 3 1 victory over Ajaxi. A fantastic performance by him, and looks like a fairly, fairly good, solid second in form card. Moving on to the midfield, first we're going to have this player here, Thiago. Plays in the um, centre mid spot for Atletico. Obviously, drawing with Barcelona to go and end up winning the Liga BVA. There's a number of fantastic performances again um, across the Atletico Madrid team. Um, Marco, who does all the um, Liga BVA um, ratings and stuff like that, who could have a shot at getting some of the team of season cards in there. Uh, but um, they basically did their ratings for this game and basically nearly gave the whole Atletico Madrid team about 9 or 10 out of 10. Um, so it's kind of hard to choose a player, but decided to go for Thiago mainly because I. I believe Koke and Godin, they both got high ratings, and Juan Fran, they could all potentially be in the team this season. Um, Gabby, no, is it Gabby? I think he picked up a team this season card already. So I think this Thiago card would be probably the only one that could potentially get it. He had a very, very good, solid performance in that midfield. Um, picked up 10 out of 10 in the marker ratings in Atletico's 1 1 draw with Barcelona. Obviously, Godin picking up that goal, but I reckon he'll get the team of the season card. Moving on to the next, we have another Liga BVA player, and this player here, Bola plays for Sevilla in the Liga BV and uh, he picked up two goals and man of the match in his team's 3-1 victory over Elche in the CDM position. Two goals from a CDM is pretty solid. Moving on to the next player of this player here, Zolan Tosic plays for CSK at Moscow in the Russian League. And I believe this game was actually a mid-week game. So could be a potential for not actually getting into the team of the week. But due to the sheer number of players I haven't got available, I decided to go for Tosic, picking up a goal, just one goal and man of the match, um, and ended up winning. If, if he didn't pick up that goal, I don't think his team would have actually gone and won the Russian League. So it's a crucial goal in his team's 1-0 victory. I think Zenit may have picked them right at the last spot if he didn't pick up that goal. And uh, that could be a potential second in-form card. Moving on to the final player in the midfield, we have this player here, Pablo Piet an Argentinian player, plays for Valencia and uh, this guy picked up a goal and assist and I think it was Matt, no, was it Man? I think it Man of the match um, in his team's 2-1 victory over Celta Vigo. Um, another player that played fantastic well was Feguli um, picking up a very, very similar performance because Feguli has picked up two informed cards, I decided to go for Piette, who could be a potential out on that left mid position. Moving on to the can, we have this player here Deleuze Mertens, the Napoli centre attacking mid. This guy probably had a fairly, very good, solid performance for the last game of the season. Picking up, I believe, two goals, two assists, and man of the match in his team's 5-1 victory. Fantastic performance by him. That would be a definite, definite 
second in form card. Moving on to the strike force here. First we're going to have this player here, Ben Yedder, plays for Toulouse in the French League. He picked up a hat-trick and man of the match in his team's 3-1 victory. This again would be a second in form card. And moving on to the final player of the starting 11. I decided to go for this player. Could be a potential, and that's going to be Antonio Di Natale, the Udinese striker. Um, I believe only two weeks ago he picked up an in form card. This would be a second in form card. And the main reason he could be a potential for getting the card is just due to the fact that because uh, it was the last game of the season, I believe he is retiring at the, um, at the end of this season as well. So now, um, and picking up a hat trick and man of the match in his team's three three draw um, could be a potential for picking up a second in form in just a short space of time. But moving on to the sub bench here, we're going to start off with this player here, Matthias Athba. Um, I'm not too sure on the league he actually plays for, but he picked up eight saves, a penalty save in his team's 1-0 victory. Uh, however, that again was a midweek game, so it could be a potential for not being on that subs bench. But like I said, the amount of players I had available to choose are very, very limited, so I was basically just throwing anyone in on this team. Moving on to the next, we've got another bronze player. This player here, Chris Turner, uh, plays for New England Revolution, I think is in the MLS. Um, they've picked up 10 goals in two games now. Fantastic performance. Uh, Chris Turner here picking up a goal and an assist and man of the match in that game um, in the 5-3 victory over Philadelphia Union I think it is. Moving on to the next we have this player here Daniel Vass. I believe he is normally as a left back. Sometimes plays as a left mid but um, Evian put him as a cam he actually picked up two goals um, in his team's 3-0 victory. I believe a centre back in that game called Angola uh, picked up the goal and man of the match so he could be a potential on the team. Moving on to the next we have this player here Ganso. The Sao Paulo centre attack in mid one of those players is rumoured to be a fantastic young talent. Hasn't really shone too much. His work rate hasn't been high enough. And um, he picked up two goals and man of the match in his team's, I think it was, 2-0 victory. So it could be a potential player um, to be on that subs bench there. Probably he's not the best card, so uh, no one's going to really care. Moving on to the next player, this player here, Federico Higuain. Plays for, I believe it is Columbus Crew in the MLS. He picked up two goals and assist and man of the match, as well as player of the week in the MLS in their 3 3 draw against Portland Timbers. Well, looks like a very, very good solid card, and he's most definitely to be on that team. Moving on to the next player of this player here, Andy Delort. He's already picked up a team of the season card uh, for most consistent, but I think this could be his first in form card. Probably won't go for a lot, picking up a hat trick and man of the match in his team's 3 0 victory. And moving on to the final player of this week's team of the season. Sorry, team of the week prediction number 36. We have this player here, Fernando Cavagnagli. Plays on River Plate in the Argentinian League. And I believe he picked up two goals and assist in his team's 5-0 victory to go out and win the league. Also, I think it was... Um, I'm not too sure the player. There's a player in the centre mid who scored an absolute thunderbolt and picked up a man of the match award. Um, he could be a potential player to be in the team of the week as well. So, guys, that is the starting 11 you can see on your screen as well as the subs. Um, you've got some... Let's say you've got quite a few second in form cards and some quite a few average cards. So you've got second in form Perrin, average. Uh, second in form Tosic, again, probably the Scar Price. Second in form Mertens, looks like an okay card. Di Natale, again, looks like an, a very, very good card. That'll be the main card of the team of the week. That's why I feel um, EA may throw him in. Um, also, along with the team this season, that looks like a fairly decent pull there for Pax. Ben Yedder, maybe. Um, Pieter out on the left, he looks okay as well. So you've got some okay silver players, not bad gold players, quite a few second in forms. So it shouldn't be too bad on the team of the week if you're looking for some of the cheap cards to go and play with, guys. This comes towards the end of the episode. If I missed any players, put that in the comments. Put the reasons why you shouldn't, those players should have been on that team. Remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to this series. I'm not too sure how many team of the weeks are going to be left. And be sure to go and check out my team of the season predictions for the Liga BVA on my channel, guys. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.